welcome all today in this session we are going to discuss about the java nm java nm are widely used in java programming and it is also a very hot interview question so let's start what is java nm so you can say first of all java nm is a data type we uh, usually say that nm is a data type in java and the purpose of this data uh, data type is to uh, store a fixed set of constant okay so you can understand with the another uh, you can say example like you can say you can treat nm is just like a special class it is you can say that it is a special class and the purpose of this class to represents a group of constant like finite variables you can say all the all the elements all you can say all the elements or you can say all the variables which we define in this uh, nm they are work just like a constant in a class so here you can say that in java nm uh, all the you can say constant whatever constant or you can say whatever variable you are defining in the nm by default they are static and finite and the benefit is that you can uh, use any constant and nm uh, directly with the name of the nm like you can say if you have a static if you have a static uh, variable in a class the benefit of that you can use the static variable directly with the name of the class in the same way you can use the nm constant with the name of the nm so i will show you practically now uh, the again the another important point is that you can define the nm you have different ways to define the nm so you can define the nm uh, within a class or uh, within a class and in the class either you can define inside the class or you can define it outside the class okay so this is uh, this is the you can say main uh, aspect of the nm now you will see that what are the other important parts of nm are first of all you can say nm as as i told you nm are just like classes so enum also have the uh, fields constructor and method like the classes here second thing is that enum uh, you can say enum are used as a uh, constant data type so we can use it directly in the switch statements also now you can say enum is uh, as i told you enum is uh, just like a class so everything that is similar to the classes here you can say in enum we may implement many interfaces we can implement many interfaces just like you can say classes but here only the difference is that we cannot extend any class because reason is that internally nm automatically extend the nm class so we know that a class can extend only one other class and can implement multiple interfaces because nm is automatically extending the nm class so we cannot extend any other class but we can implement many interfaces here now we will learn the about the users of uh, nm that where we should use the nm so you can say again uh, nm should be used uh, when you have when you know that uh, you have to store some values and the the value are never going to be changed here like you can take the example of months you can say if you in your uh, in your program if you want to uh, take some uh, data about the month like which month january february so you know that uh, the values of month uh, can be from january to december so you can take month as a nm here like same example you can you can say that in your application if you want to take some input of you or if you want to store the value of a day so you know that the days can be sunday monday uh, and tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so the, you can say these are the seven days which are fixed so whenever you want to uh, whenever you want to you know, whenever you want to store these days instead of creating any uh, normal variable you can create a nm so nm you will create nm uh, like days and then you can store these values okay now uh, one more example you can take the example of season like you can say seasons are also fixed a season can be winter spring summer and fall so you can say these are the only uh, four seasons that are possible so whenever again the, let me summarize the thing is that the use of nm is that whenever you want to store any uh, data and the values for data are fixed then you can use the nm for that so now first of all we will uh, see that how you can create the nm how you can define the nm so the first option is that you can define the you can define the nm nm in independent java file in the independent java file like you can say like you create a classes in the same way you can create the nm so this is my project let me right click on it and new and just like class interface you will see there is an option for nm so here you can define the nm like i'm defining the name nm is days so let me click on finish and you can say it has created a java file days.java but this java file is not a class here you can say syntax is public nm and days and this in within this bracket you can define the possible values and you we know that for the days the values are sunday to sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday these are the only values so in this way you can define the nm uh, in uh, nm in a independent java file if you want you can use the semicolon here but that is not mandatory you can define se with semicolon or without semicolon so this is first way to define the nm okay now the second way to define the nm is that you can define the nm outside a class means if you have a class if your class structure then 
instead uh, you can define the enum outside the class so let me take the example uh, this is the syntax of the enum so i will do one thing i have a independent class pradeep so this is the class so the structure of class is pradeep class uh, uh, public class pradeep here so this is the structure this is the body but we can do one thing we can define the uh, enum in the java file but outside the you can say class so this is my class and this is the anum here so here you can say whenever you define the anum uh, uh, if you see that white is giving the error so error is there uh, because you have already defined the here days dot uh, java it is already a uh, anum in your you can say project so you cannot define two anums with the same name so days anum you have already defined in a days class and the pradeep again you can uh, cannot do it so let me do one thing let me do one thing uh let me delete this date dot java file which is actually containing anum so let me delete it so when i delete it you will see that now it is not giving the error in my project because now in my uh, project i have a pradeep dot java file and in which i have defined the anum so in anum anum you can uh, in the uh, in the all java files i can put uh, cannot put the uh, same uh, anum with the same name here so i have defined the anum here so this is the example where you are putting the anum outside the class this is my class and this is outside the class now let me take the example of third uh, third example is that uh, you can also define the anum within the class so let me take the same example here this we have defined the anum here outside the class but we can put it control x and we can put inside the class also like within the pradeep i have defined the anum here so these are the three ways in this three ways you can define the anum say okay now uh, let me show you that how you can use the anum uh, for that purpose uh, i will uh, tell you uh, two things that how you can use the anum and how you can use the anum especially in the you can say switch statement so you can say for that purpose i have already defined the anum here in your pradeep java now i will show you that how you can use the anum in your programming also so first of all let me show you that that this is anum and for that purpose let me first of all create a main function here so i am going to create a main function in my uh, pradeep java class file okay this is the main function and in the main function you can do one thing if you want to use this anum you can declare a variable uh, with the name of the anum like you can say d a y is days and this is the name of the anum and then you can define a variable any variable so for example i am defining day equal to and here you can say as i told you you can store the anum just like a uh, static variables or like a static constant so the name of the anum is days and here you can say days dot and whatever you want to day like you can say uh, it is showing you uh, all the val all the possible values of the uh, anum which you have defined in the anum so days dot you can define for example i am saying that uh, friday this is semicolon so now what we have done you have created a here you can say uh, this line 13 line is saying that you have created a days anum days uh, day variable and the type of day is days uh, which is actually anum and then you can store the well now now you can do one thing on this day you can uh, you can write a program like uh, on the base of the input of the day so the syntax you can say you know that what is the syntax of switch switch and here you can define the uh, multiple cases here so in this switch i am going to put the uh value as a days and now you can define the cases here so you can define the cases are like you can see you know that case so there are several cases uh, so you can define the cases like first case can be case uh, let me start from sunday case sunday means when the value of uh, you can say your anum is sunday what you want to do it so suppose take the example in this program i am writing the simple logic that whenever uh, the input will be according to day i am going to print its sunday okay so in the same way you can write other program so let me write uh, the syntax is that whenever you use the uh, whenever you use any switch uh, condition is switch uh, the syntax is that you should use the break for that so i've used this one in the same way you can define the other cases like i can define the other cases are case what is the another monday so cases you can define according to the expected value and uh, let me do one thing let me again copy paste this thing and so that i can put the value here so in this way you can say whatever expected value you can say whatever values you are expecting you can uh, define it here so i have defined it two values here in the same way you can put the uh, values for other things like you can see you can define for uh, monday tuesday wednesday so i'm uh, currently i'm taking the example of only you can say uh, monday we have defined let me take the example of tuesday only and then we can take the example of let's say default so actually the purpose of this program is the the purpose of this program is that uh whenever uh, the value of day will be sunday i will print uh, sunday whenever the value of uh, day will be monday i will print the monday and when the value of tuesday i will print the tuesday if somebody is giving any other uh, input other uh, input in the day then i am going to store the 
you can say then i'm going to execute the it's other way. so now let me run this program and show you currently the value of the uh, days uh, in the day and a variable i have stored the days dot price right? so let me run this program so you can say when the program is running you can see easily it is printing it's other day because i put the friday here and you can say friday is the uh, for friday there is no case first case second third case so it will go to the default one so now let me take the example of uh, monday suppose take the example in my day i'm going to store the monday so when i'm putting the monday here now you can just run the switch case statement the value of day is monday so this case will be satisfied and this line is going to be printed so let me run this so you can say in this way uh, uh, you can say you can utilize this many places so here i've given the example like how you can store the data you can store the data in this way like day and then instead of uh, storing the values you can define the fixed value okay if you if you are, it is not clear to you i can give the example that uh, uh, you can say you can define the in instead of you know if enums are not there how you can define it you can simply do one thing you can take a data type a string okay and then you can give the name suppose take the example you are saying that day okay uh my day so in this way you can say you are just giving a string data type to store the days and then you are defining the day suppose monday okay you are defining the days monday but here what is the challenge here now because it is a string data type so anybody can define monday tuesday wednesday but if somebody is defining suppose uh, h u s d a y first day so it is not a day actually so how we can restrict that the values of day whenever in my program i want to store the day the day the value of days can be fixed so in that case you can say whenever you are creating a whenever you are creating a anum in this case the person can use this days anum as a data type and to declare a variable like day and they can store only the fixed value here you can say i can store only those values which are defined in days like days dot i cannot use other than it for example if i don't want to uh, if i don't want to store the uh, consider the saturday or friday so you can do one thing if i remove these two values from my days now you can say the person in the programming can use only the values from monday to wednesday so with the help of anum you can see you can define the constant as well as you can restrict the user that they can choose only from the defined values here so uh, in this way you can say you can use the anum so i hope you understand the uh, concept of anum here and you also uh, uh, learn that how, where we should use the anum and how we can use the anum efficiently and uh, how we can use the anum in the switch class also if you like the video if you like the topic you can click on the like button and if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it thank you